It's Fashion Week, and Greg is launching his incredible collection, which is this magical confection of deconstructed military, but I'm gonna let him <laughs> describe it. Well, first of all, what's so exciting about what we did here is everything is meant to feel like a recreation of my studio, my art studio where I paint, because all of this is born from everything that I've already been exploring as an artist. So this is the navy cashmere spine. This is a play on the classic navy blazer with gold buttons that I grew up seeing and admiring. And it's sort of a play on that. It's demystifying heavy cashmere jackets, taking the arrogance out of it and sort of giving it an ironic twist. What is it about military specifically that is so inspirational to you? There's a beauty to military clothing that I think we all admire, but I'm actually more interested in the emotional side where I feel like everyone wants to look and feel like a soldier without actually being one. I love that idea. You get to like have all the glory without actually right. having to... Hello, ready for the military. Let me see, let's see, hold on. Let's, let's get it ready. Look at that. Doesn't he look great? Maybe I think he looks great, perfect. don't you? This is really fun. I wanted to create a shoe. Tumble these yes, I did. So here's the idea of this shoe. And you'll, fabulous. These are inspired by a, a classic English gentleman's ankle boot that I wore to the studio every day and destroyed. So I wanted to recreate a shoe that had the heritage, heritage in something classic, but then reflected life in the studio. So these are all hand distressed by me, hand paint accented. Okay. Um, they're Where numbered. Are they made? Uh, in Los Angeles. Everything really? here is made out of my studio made in Los in Angeles. LA. Yeah. Brilliant. So I see the crowds accumulating. Yes, they're yeah, excited to come in and buy stuff. Which totally. Is Mazel tov and Thank good you. luck. Thank you. It.